All right, what's for one golden finder here and today we're gonna be playing some more Azeda Fist. Well then boys, today we're gonna be playing a little bit more of the Z Fest with my golden AK-47. I mean this thing, honestly man, yeah it just made the commando perk just so good. Now to be fair, theoretically the best weapon on the commando is still gonna be the Bulldogzer because I mean look at the damage and the rate of fire. Now, statistically, some of these weapons might look a little bit better than this weapon. But trust me, this thing is clunky, this thing is clunky, I mean this thing is still good. And these two, yeah, they're pretty much obsolete ever since this thing came out. So yeah, for today, we're just gonna be prestiging my commando. Now, to be fair, prestige 10 is where you should end if you don't want to, you know, over prestige. Because above Prestige 10, yeah, every single stat is going to be the same as if you were Prestige 10. This is just like style points. So yeah, for today we're just gonna be playing the new map again, and I'm just gonna be showing you the new trap alongside a level 1 commando. Dude, I've been enjoying so much freaking Z-Fest, it's actually unbelievable at times. Now, to be fair, once you prestige, yeah, you're not going to be losing all that much. I mean, fair enough, you're gonna be losing health, armor, stuff like that. But if your weapon is still at level 5, yeah, you should be theoretically good to go. Hopefully. I mean, I guess we're gonna be seeing today. Hey, oh cameras, give me oh cameras, I need all the XP I can get. I mean, the cameras, they do give you a lot of XP, though. So I'm just gonna go around the map and just, like, find all the cameras I can get. Oh god, dude, I just wish Zeds actually flinched when you shot them, because look, when you shoot them, yeah, they're just like unresponsive, they're just like, you know, coming at you still. They should be, you know, jerking a little bit, you know, from side to side, you know, just act like they're getting shot or something. Oh, here we go, level 2 command. I mean, leveling up in Zed first, it's pretty, pretty fast, you don't really feel like you're just like on an endless freaking grind. So yeah, it's actually quite enjoyable to just go and, you know, prestige your perk. Now, to be fair, you should be prestiging your perk up until, well, yeah, prestige 10. Because if you don't, yeah, you're just gonna be overall worse. Oh, God, that was fast from level 2 to 3. Easy fucking clap, I'm turning off, I'm just, like, chopping the fat dudes. Okay, where is my pugs? It is uh, right up there. Oh, another camera, fam. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's just go shopping as fast as I can. Just gonna kill the fat dude in the meantime. Oh, I'm stuck in freaking pillars here. Okay, so the new trap is gonna be the tuned ceiling fan. And yep, that's exactly what it does. It just like flings the Zeds across freaking map. It's just like a laser fence, but a little bit more satisfying and... Well, yeah, a little bit more, how should I say, versatile, because it's not only on one specific you know, way. Okay, let's see how much levels I can actually get just by playing time attack on Prestige 11. I mean, to be fair, that's going to like highly depend on how many kills I got and what type of stuff I'm gonna be killing. So let us see. Hey, yo, stop slapping me, fam. Now, to be fair, I do have like way less damage because I'm not like a level 20 anymore. So my perks are non-existent. Thank you for that armor. Dude, I still wish that armor didn't look like health but looked like an actual well, a shield at least on the floor but I mean maybe someday a few more heals well don't mind if I fucking do dude I love the sound of this AK man just like slapping everything up hey level 5 very very cool okay Gordon the chef everything just freaking buffed because of the sirens Jesus, I mean fair enough if these dudes actually start slapping me, I'm probably gonna be dying quite quite fast. But I mean as long as I keep my distance and just like roll away, yeah we should be good to go. Oh, 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 oh. got some invincible dudes. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Okay, I can't even like see their heads in that, just like so many of them. But I mean... Oh, I'm out of freaking ammunition! I mean to be fair, I can just like go to... The what's it called, the vending machine, and just like get, you know, some ammo that way, boy. I mean, that's exactly what I'm gonna have to do. Got a lot of ammo from that freaking vending machine, but you do have to be careful when going for them, because they could be, well, a lot more deadly there. Okay, absolutely clapping them up. Commando seems to be holding up. Okay, there's like some armor that I probably should get, because why the hell not? Hey, you fighter boy. 
Dude, I love when you just like go and slap him, you're just like an insta level up. Okay, Pugs is gonna be opening in 40 seconds, so we should be theoretically good to go. Theoretically, though. I mean, if I get like cornered or surrounded by a lot of these dudes, yeah, I'm probably toast. But I guess we shall see. Now, it is extremely hard to die in this once you get like used to the mechanics and stuff like that. Now, the only way you can theoretically die in this game is if you're a little bit over aggressive. Okay, we got Pugs and he is, of course, where I just was. Well, then, okay, yeah, boy. Got him good. Oh, it's another yeah, boy, potential boy. He's a clap. Okay, just gonna be putting down a good old void. Just to slap him up as fast as possible. Oh, and I'm just level up again. <laughs> Very cool. Up and my void is completely gone. So tuned ceiling fan it is. Dude, I just love traps, man. I mean, at first I was like, what the fuck traps? But honestly, they just make the gameplay j just so freaking unique, man. And the best part is, yeah, he can keep on adding as many as he wants. Yeah, there's just like a lot of potential in this game. And that's exactly why I'm just like playing it every single day because I'm just like thinking what all it can have. Hey yo, ceiling fan. Going to town. I mean, they pretty much can't even do anything. I mean, look at this shit. Now, the only downside to the fan is that, yeah, it does end quite fast. It doesn't have like that much charges on it. But I mean, if it had more, yeah, I think it would be just a little bit too OP. Okay, this one still has 11 on, so let's just will I stand up here to get the most out of my traps. Hey, yo. But yeah, you got voids, you got Tesla coils, freaking century guns you got, you name it. I mean, if you put like a suggestion to the developer, yep, he might just add it. And that's exactly why this game is just so freaking fun. I mean, the developer is actually listening to the community. I mean, what the f- We're in 2022 and there's like a developer that actually cares about its player base. Like, what the f- <laughs> Now, to be fair, if it was a little bit more popular, I don't think he would, you know, keep track anymore because he physically couldn't. But, you know, since the player base is... I mean, it's not small. I mean, there's definitely, like, a lot of people that, you know, tried it at some point. But, I mean, active players, yeah, it's not that much. Okay, I think I actually leveled up to level 8, which is freaking a lot. Okay, time to slice them up, because I ran out of ammo. Maybe parry some fools. There we go, fat dude, boy. Okay, I probably shouldn't be, like... Overly confident here because I am a level nothing commander for the most part. Here we get parried. Okay, let's just get up here as quickly as possible. Just like plop down a void just to keep it safe. And let's just go into perks and. Yeah, let's just do that because I do need my level 5 perk back. Okay, this is like as much as I could freaking buy. Didn't actually manage to get a fan because rest in peace is my money. But if I just, you know, run around for a little bit, I should be good to go. Now, you could just, like, camp it out if you had, like, a lot of traps. But he did make it so you can only have two traps at once on the map. So, I mean, the game is now a little bit more balanced and, you know, a lot more fair. Which is, you know, not bad because, I mean, balance is... Not, like, overly important in, you know, AI shooter games, but... I mean, some balance has to exist, right? Okay, we got only one more minute to, you know, kill as many as possible, so let's do that. So yeah, I nearly have 500 kills. And I mean, 500 kills, yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, 500 kills, you're like a level, what, 9? I'm probably gonna be like level 10 as soon as this is gonna be over, because the boss... Yeah, it does give you a lot of XP, and I do think I have a seasonal, or should I say daily objective. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna be freaking level 10, maybe even like level 11 when this is gonna be over. Okay, just gonna be running out of ammo very, very soon. Let's just go and slice them up. Now, I could just like wait for the round to end, but I'm just gonna get like a couple of ammo boxes. Just to, you know, kill the remainder of the Zeds up, and of course we get like a siren buffing everything up. Nah, I'm just gonna shoot some man, who cares? I could go and melee them, but eh. Okay, we do have a fat dude, I'm probably gonna like melee him. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this dude to puke. And of course he puked me directly while a boy and boy. And just like that, wave completed. Oh, and I'm a level 10 commander now because of my daily objective. Oh my god. 
Okay, shower really quick. Let's just get into my perks. Ammo is king, definitely. Okay, get some armor, get some freaking heals, some ammunition, and I think we should be good to go for the boss. I think. Yep, there we go. Hey, yo, do you like my golden AK-47, fam? Now, to be fair, this map is dark, and you can't really see much of the golden AK-47, but it's definitely there. So, if you ask me, the easiest boss in the game is most likely gonna be this one. Freaking glitch face, I mean, he doesn't have, like, that many attacks. Yeah, boy. And in the middle of the wave, when he has, you know, his phases, yeah, they're not, like, that hard to complete. I mean, you literally just, like, go around and just, like, shoot all of these things just to, you know, block his, or should I say, destroy his shield. Okay, just before I go and kill the boss, yeah, I'm just gonna go around and destroy a lot of cameras just to get, like, as much XP as possible. And that's it. I think I got, like, all five. I'll just go and shoot the living shit out of the boss. Dude, he's just, like, so sad. I mean, what's he even doing there? Oh, and now he's even slower because he wants to shoot and he can. Okay, now he spawned his freaking health destroyer beacon. Let's destroy this as fast as possible. Here we go. But yeah, the game by itself, it does have such an addicting well, yeah, loop. It might look minimalistic and, you know, just like a game that's made in like five days. But once you actually give it a try and, you know, master some mechanics, yeah, this shit is freaking fire. Oh, and there he goes, level freaking 11, Commando. So yeah, theoretically, if you prestige to prestige 11, yeah, you can just get back to level 10 in just like one time attack kamikaze freaking difficulty match. So yeah, this was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed some golden AK-47 gameplay. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.